Are you ready for some tag team action? I'm always ready for some tag team action. We have the former two-time RAA Women's Tag Team Champions, the Killers, Scarlet and L, going up against the current reigning, defending, longest reigning RAA Women's Tag Team Champions, the extraordinary one, Jordan Lee, and the greatest woman to ever live, Remy Martin. Will the Killers become the first ever three-time Tag Team Champions? Is the question. This ain't gonna be pretty. No, this is gonna be a fight. This is gonna be a fight indeed. We have the striking prowess and this pure violence of the killers going up against, well, the more technical aerial attack of the queens of wrestling. I'm really excited for this match. I am too. Uh, if. If the killers can keep them grounded, then this uh, this might be their night. It might be their night. The first ever two-time uh, tag team champions going for the first ever uh, three-time. You know? Why not? Why not? But you know what? Uh, the Queens of Wrestling has never uh, backed down from a fight before, and they're not going to back down now. No, they're not. They have quite the wrestling pedigree. Winning championship gold and wherever they wherever they've been. In both singles and tag team competition. The lights are off. Did you pay the bill? Uh I think so. I think you I thought you did. Okay. Oh, wait, no. uh, oh, yeah. The kill is not coming out together. I guess I guess we really want to uh, use that pyro budget, <laughs> even without Blaze voting. Yeah, listen, we gotta we got we gotta get that pyro budget in there. <laughs> uh, I guess so. I mean, I wasn't gonna tell them no. <laughs> Ain't stupid. When two tattooed people who you know can F you up, make a request, you get it done. <laughs> I know we have Mike Tyson on the roster, but I'm still going to say <laughs> Scarlett and L are right behind them as the most dangerous people on the roster. I would have to agree with that. If he's the baddest man on the planet, there's gotta be the baddest woman on the planet. <laughs> no cap. Remember, this woman out of nowhere leaped up and Superman punched the living <laughs> shit <laughs> at a year to uh, Yes, she did. Launched her and punched her in the face out of nowhere. And that's all I wrote. That's all I wrote for. The theatrics. It's the theatrics for me, really. Never seen anything like it. Yeah. Look at look, look at that look at this view. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> but now we're really about to just, you know. Blow shit up. Here comes Scarlet. The former Mrs. J. Money. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Scarlett Johan with a couple of fans. Yeah. Also hailing from uh, New York. Don't let the tights fool you. Scarlet taking a bow. Scarlet can do whatever she wants. Yeah, she can. And there goes the pyro budget. Thank you and good night. That's that's that, that's all. <laughs> I had to uh, non tender contracts to people so I can be <laughs> under the cell of their cap to just afford this. <laughs> Actually, if I if I remember correctly, I think Jay Money might have a pretty sizable pyro budget as well. He pays for that himself. <laughs> I ain't Steve Cohen. I ain't got that type of money. <laughs> Oh, look at that, they're coming out together. Yeah, like they a, are. Like a real tag team. And they're matching. There's a lot of straight edge people in this match. <laughs> uh, actually, all four of them. Oh, look at that. Little LI shout out. Uh, neither one of them are from uh, the New York area. In fact, nowhere close. Jordan's from uh, New Hampshire, and uh, Remy's Canadian. Well, well, New Hampshire's not very far. I mean, but still, that's more New England area. Like the boss, <laughs> Sasha Banks, who defended her title successfully here tonight. So, uh... Let's see how this goes. Will all titles be successfully defended? Um, we'll find out. <laughs> I know a couple of times, uh, every show we had title change hands. Are we going to finally get the reversal? And, um, I don't want to jinx it, but, uh, this referee work has been spectacular thus far. It has been, I'm, uh... <laughs> oh god. Right off the bat. Jordan went for something, L immediately blocked oh. it. Alabama! Ooh, slammer. Uh, and L just immediately just start throwing hands. <laughs> I believe that's the definition of on site. Yep. Oh, up on the turnbuckle. Nothing Coming good happens after. here. Karana. Beautifully executed. Like I said, aerial offense versus uh, punching people in the face. A very big clash of styles. Yeah, definitely. Oh! Angels win right there. Those are off. Oh, Tony Hilkett. Beautiful, Tony. She got up there, didn't she? Oh, it was a gurry. Yeah, she did. Uh oh. Here comes the other one. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. If you had to pick which one, which one do you think you have a better chance of survival against? Oh, super kick. Quartz, oh. shooting star, Prince. Wow. Snap German. But as I was saying, who do you think will have a better chance of survival against? Um. Neither. <laughs> <sighs> oh, going to work on the It's like, how do you want to die? Do you want to. <laughs> do you want to get shot? Or do you want to be stabbed? <laughs> Up and over. I 
I was kind of hoping for a springboard. Eh. <laughs> we all Ooh. can't get what we want. Oh, oh. dice oh. break! Shout out to Johnny Gargano. Ooh, muscle draw. Oh, he's got a fisherman buffer on the outside. That ain't pretty, buddy. No, it's not. And I don't feel good. No, it does not. There may be mats out there, but that shit still hurts. <laughs> she ain't done. Mm. Oh, man. Oof. Oof. And back in. Uh, make the tag. <laughs> <laughs> Wisely making that tag. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, in, in he swatted. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. Jesus Christ. Tyler's might be changing hands real quick. Oh, elbows. She was prepared it's for trouble, strange. but she wasn't prepared for this. No. <laughs> oh! C4. She getting her shit into the action. <laughs> uh oh, here comes the other one. <laughs> it's just always here comes the other one. You know? Oh, and another one. Yeah, one for you. And a quick tag. Keeping the other one fresh, but I'm not too sure how fresh Jordan is right now. Yeah, I mean, after getting kicked in the face numerous times. Not oh, just that, the fisherman man. busted on the outside. Yeah, that. Oh, nice, Cabrana. Honestly, I would just get disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> there are no DQs. Well, round and round we go. This isn't blood sport. You can get disqualified. <laughs> just get disqualified. You can't get counted out, but you can definitely get disqualified. Oh. Oh boy. See? Yeah, I'm just gonna drop some bombs. That's why I, I would just get disqualified. I'll still get my ass beat, but at least I'll still be champion. And another oh. one. Oh. By the other one. God. And here comes the other one. <laughs> exactly. Here comes the other one. <laughs> killer one, killer two. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Dumped her right on her head with a DDT. Oh my right in the god! Oh no! Oh no! Dude. Oh no! Remy's gonna have to make a save. If Remy's gonna have to make a save. <laughs> if I wouldn't even get in there. Just, just take the L. <laughs> take the L? No, I don't want to take on L. Hell no. What no, do you mean? That, that, that's the other one. I said take the L. <laughs> No, I don't want to take the L. She might, she might come in. <laughs> I'll take the S. <laughs> uh oh, town. Such a rock and a hard to Uh oh. Oh God. Shades of William Regal. Was that, was that punt necessary? <laughs> Probably not. And now it's time to take the L. <laughs> uh -oh. On the shoulders. Oh, oh no. no! Black star! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, the cover. One. Oh! Oh, God. Why? Why would you, why would you get up? How? Oh, my God. Don't tag him, Jordan. <laughs> Hasn't she suffered enough? I, I think they both suffered enough. Oh, caught oh. the ring. Caught the ring. And now she's gonna pay for it. Now she's gonna beat that ass. <laughs> Jordan said I too can do that. And a quick tag. That'll probably be the only thing that keeps them in this. Yeah. Oh! 
No, they don't need any type of motivation. No, they don't. Oh, by oh. the nose! By the oh, nose! God. Referee, get in there! It's right in front of you! I don't think you want to. Uh -oh. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I think she's out. Oh. I think she's going to be out. And again. That's close to the ropes. <laughs> it matter anyway, right in front of Jordan. But it shouldn't have even counted. She was in the room. Uh-oh. Oh! Lethal weapon! Lethal weapon number two! Oh! Oh, she stabs! Three times! Three times champs! Three times champs! The killers! For the new! Once again! R.I.A. Women's Tag Team Champion. To be honest, I don't think uh, the Queens of Wrestling are going to want to uh, uh, cash in on that rematch clause anytime soon. <laughs> I, I don't think they're going to want that anytime soon. <laughs> I what? would not blame them for not cashing in on that one. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. They can keep it. They can, they can keep it. As a matter of <laughs> fact, let me just go back to the singles competition. <laughs> Here are your winners. Well, I was curious if we was going to see any title change hands here tonight. Well, that, Answer, that, yes. that does break the streak of that happening. Yes, yes it does. But, uh, it was kind of hard to deny a, a team called the Killers. Yeah. Congratulations, three-time. Three-time champs. But that also means they're two-time losers. Yeah, this is very true. And, uh... But I don't, I'm not gonna call them. I'm not I don't, gonna call them losers in their I don't, feel, I don't feel comfortable... I don't feel comfortable using that word around them. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, we have the Gold Rush Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line as Kai Thorne goes one-on-one -on -one with a... Bizzle, Austin Blake, finally winning some championship gold, defeating... And it's about time. Defeating the one and only <laughs> Hitman 37, who has been the only person to successfully defend that title. So can Austin Blake keep that keep that streak rolling? Because uh, the Gold Rush Junior Heavyweight Championship was basically the WCW television title. It's cursed. <laughs> It, it might be. So, uh, but uh, Kai Thorne does have the number of Austin Blake. It's been a while since we've seen Kai Thorne in action. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the sorry, Global green? Light Heavyweight Championship! He is green. <laughs> uh -oh. 
fucking there goes the lights. Okay. Oh boy. So I need to hit that circuit breaker. Uh oh. I don't like those lights going out. Uh -oh. He came from the ground! Oh, this man came from the ground. This man literally came from hell. He did. They summoned him. And I, <laughs> I still didn't summon nobody. And I still don't know what that green smoke is coming from the lantern. I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm not asking him. Remember, Kai Thorne, uh, pretty much carried. And that is a weird thing to say. Carried evil rage into a win. Do you remember this? When they defeated uh, the followers of Mateo? Yes, Literally yes, at I hell? Remember. I remember. And then, <laughs> on top of that, Evil Rage didn't even want to celebrate with the man who got them the win. <laughs> but, Kai, don't call me Vega Thorn. It came from the bog. <laughs> came from somewhere. I still don't know where that hook came from either. <laughs> but that should be the least of our worries. Considering, as we said, this man literally came from the ground. <laughs> but the crowd loves him. First uh, championship opportunity for Kai Thorne. We're gonna find out. Um, man. Oh boy. This guy scares me a little bit. But here comes a Bizzle. Awesome. Wait. A little more pep in, in his step. Yeah, listen. Winning gold, it, uh... It, it's a real confidence booster. And that is exactly what he needed. It is. He's a champion and Ian Fox is not. So he's still riding that high. <laughs> the crowd's pretty excited to see him. He's pretty excited to see this crowd. He flashy, ain't he? But, uh, He's looking real confident. He's looking very confident here. I know, but uh, the first time of defense is always the hardest. Yeah, it is. Especially when it you're going up is. against someone who has your number. <laughs> that's what it's all about. That Gold Rush Junior Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the Reaper, Kaiva. The Reaper, that, that explains a lot. And it introducing is. the champion from the City of Angels. Weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the Austin Blake. Hi, Thorne, with a 10 pound weight advantage. Just won that. Don't kiss it goodbye, buddy. <laughs> we gave you a solid month with the title without having to defend it. So you can say you've held it for at least 30 days. <laughs> Longer than uh, Ian Fox, who held it for 15. And here we go! Oh, back in Kai Thorn up. Let's see what he does here. Let's see uh, if we got a clean break. We do. Oh, we do. Horsemanship. Oh. Go right back on him. Oh, Kai shows him oh, off. Kai went oh, for oh, something. Oh. Austin shows him off. <laughs> Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Right into the cover. Uh, if he was going to go for the cover, why didn't we just break him? Uh, psych him out, I guess. Oh. And it's nice to see Austin Blake finally going for covers. It really is. <laughs> Ooh, fucking unnecessary kick to the back. Oh, 
Oh, that's a close one by Austin Blake. You get a counter, man. you get a counter, man. you get a counter. Oh. Spinning oh. DDT. Wow. Oh, again. Oh, oh, oh this is a power slam. That was like a. That was like a. Tombstone power slam kind of thing, and. Oh, and eat the feet. Kai Thorne is. Well, he can tell if I really begins of this match. Yeah, he is. Oh, we're just gonna do here. Whatever he wants. Uh-oh. Jerry oh. Lawler would be proud. I still can't believe the referee lets Kai Thorne wrestle with those claws on. You wanna go in there and tell him he can't? I mean, he can poke someone's eye <laughs> out. He can poke his own damn eye out. <laughs> Ooh, oh! Goomba stomp! Turned that man inside out. But he didn't get back on him. Uh, ooh, this oh. is super kick. Oh, what a snap suplex. Yeah, snap suplex. Uh-oh. Oh, Drop another fist on him again. Ted Piazza. Oh! Oh, I thought he was grinding his face. Nope. Punch straight to the face. Right, oh, Miscarry. Yep, oh. oh, drive the air out of him. With all the battles us and Drake has had with Hitman 37, you think uh he'd be better prepared for this match with Kaiser. You would think so. Because uh Hopefully. those were some bangers. They they really were. Except for that last one, we kinda I mean... just dominated 37, <laughs> but uh, Ooh, for the most part, th they they were bangers. I mean, you know what? This, this match is still early on, uh Austin Blake. Seem to be coming on a little bit. Oh! You jinxed liner. You jinxed him. I mean, you, again. Oh, a standing leg drop. Hitman C7 still, still has a rematch. Oh! Hop! Oh! Rock. And a beauty! Backflip right in. Oh, shit! How the hell did he do that? Uh, I don't know, but I don't know if I would be doing that right now. That's athletic as fuck. Oh! Oh, and again. Oh! Kai rolled him up! Oh, rolled him up! Stun! Oh, that kick out. <laughs> if he, if he would have caught him with that. That would have been very bad. <laughs> Are we gonna fly? Oh my god, we're finally gonna see oh, someone boy. fly. Are you ready? Oh, he, he gonna fly. Here we go, baby! Oh. Get ready to fly! Space Man! Slancha! And another! And a solo star on the outside! That man's fired up. <laughs> yeah, he I, is. I think that's the perfect time to taunt. Oh shit! <laughs> he just dumped him! Oh! Honestly, I don't even care if he wins anymore. That was cool. <laughs> Ooh, we got color, folks. We got color. And I think that's the first time someone went into the still steps. It only took four matches. <laughs> and now Kai Thorne is just standing there doing nothing at all. As Ace Young goes to grab us some snacks, uh, Kaithorn goes right back into the steel steps. Austin Blake playing to this sold out crowd here at the Barclay Center here in Brooklyn, New York. I hope you guys are having a great New Year's and are enjoying this show, because I sure as hell am. I've missed wrestling so much. And uh, this is just what we needed after having a very shitty 2020. Hopefully 2021 will, uh, will be a little bit better for us. Not if Sting and Goldberg have anything to say about that. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. And Kai Thorne sliding in with a drop kick. 
Hi, Tony. You're really scary, man. <laughs> you're really scary, man. Awesome bait catches the leg. Dragon screw and leg lift. Ty Thorne with a knee right to Austin Blake's face. And we have a leg drop. This, this match has been... Man. It, it's been something. I'm still going to put yeah, Noah really Carr versus Kiyoshi Saiba as my number one, but uh, this can be a close number two. Yeah, it, it definitely could be. Uh... It's actually been um, longer than I thought. Both men are finally getting back inside the squared circle where uh, we can determine a winner of this bout. And I spoke too soon. Oh! Austin traps Skythorn in the ropes and just punches him repeatedly in the back. Right into a backstabber! Man! That is vicious. But Kythorn breaks the eyes with those claws, comes back with that spinning DDT, dropping off from Blake right on his dome piece. Kythorn is fired up. Now he's just gonna put the boots and yeah. chokes him. We, we, we've said it a few times. That, that's not a person that you need to get fired up or a person you want to see get fired up. Yep. Oh. Kicks Austin Blake, shoots him off the ropes, a uh, leg lariat, another leg lariat. This is how he's beaten Austin Blake before. Here's that neck breaker. Uh, Kaisorn does not go for the cover. Spear broke him away. Ooh. Austin Blake kicks out at two after that. Here, that was Kaitorn's best shot. Yeah, oh, that, that might that might have been. Hello, his best good shot. night. He's right in the face. Oh. Right for the leg. Also slides down the back. Uh oh. So to our small pack is just not paying going for the pin. A little too close to the ropes, I would say, but he pulls him away. Goes for the cover. I throw kicks out. Back elbow. Oh, final flash out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. Hooks the leg. Kai Thorn kicks out of the final flash. I don't. How? Is, how did he kick out of that? Oh, Austin's going for Goomba Slob. Kai Thorn catches him with a power bomb. This has been one hell of a match. Kai misses the knee. Snap right by Austin. Fucking unnecessary kick to the back. Both men are spent. Backbreaker. Fatigue is definitely second in here. But what a match this is. Super kick. Double tap. Kai Thorn rolls out. Austin Blake goes back out after him. Kai Thorn goes back in. Austin Blake comes back in. Kai Thorn went for a for a sucker <laughs> punch. Misses. Austin went for something. Kai pushes him off. Kai shoots him into the corner. Oh boy. Nothing good is about to happen. It was so nice he had to do it twice. Slide and drop kick. I'm sorry, I should probably let you get a word in. Ace, we've made it to the ramp. And another DDT. On the ramp. And another hurricane round. I don't know who's going to win this match. But boy, is it kicking ass. Yeah, Ty Thorne had was in control early on. Austin Blake comes back. It, this has been one hell of a back and forth match. It really is. It just might surpass that Bloodsport title match. 
this match has no stipulations, just two guys with the love of professional wrestling. Oh, super kick by Austin Blake. He's got him up. I don't know what the fuck that move was he just did, but it looks fancy as hell. Hooks the leg. <laughs> Kythorn kicks out yet again. My god. Boston loses, it's not for a lack of pins. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Can't oh, wait. That on that. He's telling Kythorn to get your ass up, setting him up. He's stalking him. Final flash! Kythorn's bust open. Into the cover. Here we go. Two! Kythorn kicks out again! I... I am at a loss. Director's cut by Kythorn. Into the cover. <laughs> Two! Austin Blake kicks out. <laughs> this match... is ridiculous. Hit toss yeah. by Kythorn. I'm I'm ready to, I'm ready to put this ahead of uh, the Bloodsport title. I'm ready to put this ahead of it too. <laughs> Mind you, we still have JA Money later on on the card. We still have a Hell in a Cell match. V to the face. <laughs> oh, Kai's lighting awesome Blake the fuck up right now. And just looks at the camera. Oh. Fishman Buster, he hooks the leg right into the cover. This might be it. Two. Aussie kicks out at 2.9. Holy shit. I thought that was three. I, I did too. I thought, I thought it was over. I thought it was over. Twenty twenty one just started. This might be match of the year. <laughs> oh, awesome Blake doing some glitchy shit. Uh oh, big bang attack. Cover that man. Yeah, catch your breath. Now cover that man. <laughs> Pulls him away. Very good. Hooks the leg. Center of the ring. Here we go. Two. It's finally over. <laughs> and what still. A what a match. Well deserved win for Austin Blake. Like we said, the first defense is always the hardest. <laughs> yeah, it is. Shit. Hi, Thorn. Holding his head down, but put your head up, Kaisor. That was a hell of a showing. Nothing to be ashamed about on this one. You did not put your motherfucking head down. You put it up. That was a show stiller. And with that, we're gonna take a brief intermission. And welcome back from that brief, very, very brief intermission. You watch this on YouTube, you wouldn't even know there was an intermission. <laughs> <laughs> what a match coming up next. The Queen of Carnage Championship is on the line. We've mm -hmm. got Pam, Rhea Ripley, Broken Alexa, and the Nightmare Queen Maria. I don't wow. want to pick a favorite I don't want to pick a favorite in this match at all. I I don't either. I mean, yes, we, we know my relationship with Pam, a former tag team, BYOB. Pam, the longest reigning Queens of Carnage champion. Just to lose that <laughs> title to uh, the most violent person ever, Rhea Ripley, who uh, then lost it to uh, the Nightmare Queen Maria. But uh, you can never uh, count out the Dark Horse, which is Broken Alexa. Uh, Broken Alexa, um... Tag team with Maria, Broken Nightmares. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of familiarity there. Uh, who knows? We might see them uh, double team uh, Pam and Rhea Ripley. Yeah, it is a 
good chance. Here comes Rhea Ripley, and this is her brutality. Rhea Ripley is probably one of my favorite women wrestlers on the planet. Yeah, me too. Actively, one of my favorite. Uh, she can do no wrong in my eyes. Unless, <laughs> of course, she's kicking me in the face. And then she can go out of it. <laughs> so, uh... That's... And, uh... Here comes Broken Alexa. And here comes Alexa. And uh, she looks very broken. Uh, she just glitched right there. What the hell's going on? True to her name, isn't she? Uh, have you yeah, ever seen anything yeah, like that? Is. Broken Alexis. Yeah, I guess so. And uh, <laughs> here comes your least favorite wrestler. Uh, I don't know about least favorite. The Dairy Farmer. Pam. <laughs> uh, so I finally learned whose blood that is. Oh yeah? Who's? Yeah. The blood of her victims, of course. <laughs> One of her many. Uh, listen here. She fights people before her fight. You, 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 you heard of, uh, pre-gaming? Oh, I've heard of a pre-game. Well, her pre-game is whooping ass before she has to whoop you, ass. You, you, usually... You, uh... Yeah, you, usually a free game uh, involves alcohol before you well, go she, out. Well, she does that too. <laughs> she ain't no amateur. <laughs> and here comes the Nightmare yeah. Queen. So we have a Nightmare Queen. Maria, we have a broken Alexa, we have the nightmare Rhea Ripley, and we have uh, Pam. Pam. <laughs> I don't think she. I don't think she has a nickname. Uh, I don't think she needs one. Um, functioning alcoholic. Is that a, is that a nickname? Um, it could be. Could be. Well, I mean, she, I think she takes very. I think she takes pride in that. I uh, think so too. <laughs> I, I talked to her about joining AA, and you know, she told me. Do you? Do yeah, you know, that's never gonna. Do happen. you know she told me? I don't know what she told you. She told me AA is for quarters, and Pam ain't no damn quarter. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what it's all about, that Queens of Carnage Championship. And we got Rhea going after Pam. Got the Nightmare Queen and Broken Alexa. Pam going for the cover. Uh, not even a one. Well, uh, maybe, has... maybe she should go to AA. Maybe, maybe she should be going to AA. I uh, think she should bring it back. Backer Hall hasn't kicked in yet. 
<laughs> oh, into the steps goes Pam. Yes, and I like to remind everyone, just in case they uh, didn't see or cannot read, this is a false count anywhere match. Alexa gets a one count in the ring. So uh, that referee is going to be very busy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Beautiful. Tornado DDT by both Alexa. Now the head going for the cover on the outside. The referee has to get out there. And a one. Uh, he probably could have did it from the inside there. He probably could have. Oh! Oh, Lex is going after Rhea. Oh boy, this is... I am going after well, Maria. Going after Pam. Ooh. Okay. Goes for the cover. I don't know. No. I don't, don't even try it. Don't even try it. <laughs> no, Ooh. not even. Not even worth it, bro. Oh, it's a Lex is being set with steps. Into the cover. Into the steps. And guess what? Oh. That's where you're going <laughs> too. The weapon of choice here in RIA. I mean, it took a couple matches uh, for them to be introduced. It did. But uh, once it gets introduced, that's all she wrote. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's all she wrote. Cam going for a nerve hold. And now former partner's going at it. Yeah. Former partner's going at it indeed. Oh, a backbreaker. Mm -hmm. Punch of people in the face. Ooh, Single leg drop, drop kick. kick. Doesn't take Pam down. No, it uh, didn't. Uh, uh -oh. All the way. No last call for alcohol. No, no such thing with Pam. Referee had to run a long <laughs> way just to drop down for that. Yeah, he did. He yeah. probably could have done it from over there. Again, yeah, that's going to be uh, the story of this match. Probably could have yeah. done it from over there. I mean, look, we we, we, we said the referee was uh, going to have a hard time in this one. Oh! Ooh, small package driver. The canvas oh, the is that side. One, two, two. <laughs> oh, it broke it up by Alexa. If the, referee did, if the referee didn't run so far to make that cover. That'd have been three. That would have been three. Uh, but Broken Lex is sticking to remain. Broken up some shit. That was not the medical correct. <laughs> Ooh! There it was. Uh... Ooh. Oh, we really going for the cover. The AMS. I, I blinked out on what Pam calls her finisher. <laughs> the adios, motherfucker. I was like, what did she call that shit? <laughs> it's been a while. I was like, WMD? I was like, wait, wrong person. <laughs> and that was a long run for Maria to try to break that up, too. It was. So you gotta kinda stay close at all times. Yeah. Uh-oh. Rhea's not having a good time. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Right, oh, right no. into the cover. One. Two. Two! Damn you! <laughs> and still... I have to oh, say, no, uh, no. Pam, Pam, mm. we can re up. I, uh, yeah. I, I agree with that. Definitely we can re up. Uh, shorter than I thought it would be. Yeah, me too. So, um, if, uh, if we're looking at the score card, I would have to say, I would put this one at the bottom. At the number eight. Eight. <laughs> we have our number one. And our number two filled out. Here is your winner, and uh, still the queen. So we'll look at the scorecard at the end of the Maria. night, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I guess uh, the, I guess the bar was a little too high. <laughs> it was. 
I mean, but even if it wasn't, this yeah. unfortunate to say was not the greatest of matches. No. I mean, it's kind of hard to go eight for eight. It and, is. And have a five-star show. Yeah. Considering we're not in the uh, Tokyo Dome. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we're trying our best. One year. One, one, one day we'll, we'll book it. <laughs> I, I think you should take I think you should take this one, buddy. Coming up next. The RIA tag team titles are on the line. Um, mm-hmm. um, oh, yeah, buddy. Do it. Say it. The Hired Martyrs. Mm-hmm. And we've got Hitman 37 on the other side, who yep. I thought was the leader of the Hired Martyrs. He like, is. He's he, he on is. the other team. He I is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> this is going to be a fucking shit show. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. The Hired Martyrs, HMJ, Hitman, A-Bride, challenging for the tag team titles. But uh, things aren't what it seems as they're going up against the, wait for it, wait for it, the Dark Martyrs, Dark Hero, and Hitman 37, a very unlikely team, but they only have one loss on their records. Um, Catching those titles by defeating Southern Comfort. Uh, I don't know if there's any animosity amongst the uh, ranks of the Hired <laughs> Martyrs, but I know for sure this definitely doesn't sit well. <laughs> um, no, yeah, one of these things is not like the others. But if I had to make <laughs> a prediction, I would say a team that ends with the word Martyrs is going to walk out <laughs> as the tag team champions. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and uh, that's just the best way to put that. <laughs> but uh, do you go with the team that's been teaming up forever? Or do you go for the new team? Who do you give the advantage to? Because you it's know, not uh, like Hitman 37 doesn't know every move of Hitman J and A Bright, and it's not like they don't know every move. Of three seven, or is this all a ruse just to jump Dark Hero? You know what? That was. I don't know. Uh, is he gonna pull a old Cody Rhodes on Bob Holly and uh win the titles <laughs> with a uh, Ted DiBiase Jr. And what if the hired martyrs win here? And then uh. Then uh, Hitman 37 will be proud because his boys finally captured championship gold. Against him, though. Yeah, but uh, Hitman 37 was always a singles competitor anyway. And it's not like Hitman 37 does not have a rematch clause for that Gold Rush Junior Heavyweight Championship. Good luck taking it from Austin Blake after that match, though. <laughs> Good fucking luck. Um, I'm very proud of myself for digging deep into the history books of wrestling for for that uh for that token right there. What was that? Two thousand six, eight, nine. Uh, what was Legacy? It's been a while. That was my first ever wrestling we'll, we'll, we'll just shirt. Say. That was my first ever wrestling <laughs> shirt. My first ever wrestling shirt was, huh? I mean, it wasn't the ultimate word. It might have been an old Shawn Michaels shirt. Probably. I, that's like what when I probably... he won, like like when like when he won the title from Bret at WrestleMania 12. Uh, that's probably what I would have put you down for. <sighs> I think my second wrestling shirt was Nexus. I think I have a Nexus armband around here somewhere. You're either Nexus or against us. Here comes <laughs> Hitman 37.
coming through the crowd too. He is a man of the people, I suppose. He's looking focused. I mean, we've been saying that all all night long. I have been. You kind of got to be. But I surely don't want to pick a winner for this. It's so hard to pick a winner for this. You don't want to. I mean, just say what I do. The fans are the, are, are the real winners here tonight. <laughs> the fans are the real winners here. Yeah, they are. And uh, we're fans, so we're winning too. And that's what it's all about. Those tag team toys. 